This is Jerry Park. He's gonna find his perfect match. What are some red flags in a girl? People that are like too standoffish from the bat. What are your red flags? I'm <laughs> busy, bro. Tense woman, looking for love? Let's get it. Hi, papi. Hola. My occupation, Mrs. Park. You look like my next boyfriend. What's up? Oh my god, Teddy. I don't want to pick you up. I'd rather pin you down. What? <laughs> I don't think I'm the perfect match. And actually, I was in one of your music videos. What? Which yeah. one? Now it's time to pick the one. My perfect match is... This is Jay Park. And today, he's going to find his perfect match. Here's how it works. We brought together 10 amazing women from across Korea, each hoping to be the one. But here's the twist. Jay won't see the contestants until he makes his final choice. The game is split into four rounds. Jay will have to trust his instincts, listen to their answers, and rely on a bit of luck to find his perfect match. In round one, Jay will only see the feet of our contestants while he asks them a series of questions. Based on their answers, he must eliminate three contestants. In round two, the curtain rises a bit higher. Jay will ask more questions and then eliminate two more contestants. In round three, the curtain will rise even higher. This is where things get serious. With deeper questions to help Jay make his final decision, by the end of this round, only three contestants will remain. The final round is a series of speed dates. Jay will sit face to face with each of the remaining three contestants, decide who will get his final rose, and be declared Jay's perfect match. At the end of it all, Jay will pick up the final rose and offer it to the woman he believes is his perfect match. So, who will it be? Let's find out. My name is Jay Park, artist, entrepreneur. I've never been on a blind date before, so I don't know what to expect. You could get some nerves, get a little shaky. I've experienced a lot, so you know, I think I could get through. What are some red flags in a girl? You know, people that are like too standoffish from the bat. You could still not be like too happy-go-lucky, but also not be standoffish as well. Just kind of like be kind. What are some green flags? I was about to say like people who, who smile a lot, but if you can't see their smile, maybe their tone of voice, how they articulate things. What are your red flags? Busy, bro. Always temptations around me. I don't know. There's a lot. I always try to improve, progress, and grow as a human being. What do you think are your green flags? I don't like to talk about myself like that, bro. It's kind of, it's kind of embarrassing. I can see their shoes. Some people have sneakers on. Some people have see-through heels. So you can see like personality, different characteristics already exactly. right? just by the shoes. So contestant number one, what's your name, occupation, and biggest ick in a man? My name is Rini Kim. Occupation, Mrs. Park. Because I've been married to you for like forever. <laughs> That's your occupation? <laughs> and okay. biggest ick in a man, mama's boy. Mm -hmm. Oh my, we made it! Contestant number two. I'm Eugene. Nice to meet you. I'm still a student. In university, and my biggest egg in man should be eating a slice of pizza with a fork. How do you eat your pizza? I mean, I eat my pizza with my hand, but I, I think he likes like a, a man, a man's man. Just hands only. Consensus number three. Hi, papi. Oh, hola. My, she said hola. Hi, papi. My name is Micaela. It Mic means a, an angel, so I can be your angel. Okay. Oh. And the biggest ick in a man is a man that doesn't know what he wants. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Contestant number four. My name is Amelia. The biggest ick. When I'm texting the guy, and if he sounds too uh, ajushi, yeah, that's an ick. Damn. That's like, like me right now. Like, like, you know, when you text and uh -huh. then use like slang from like 10 years ago. And then you, put the, little, the, you put the little, uh, what is it? You go, you say, uzum. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the little. That's literally what my dad does. Yeah. Oh, so. like, probably <laughs> closer to your dad's age. Hello, my name is Yumi. I'm a cartoon animator. Okay, wow. And my biggest ick in a man would be a man with hot temper. I feel like they can't communicate. Uh, uh, say that mm. again? You don't like. A guy with a hot temper. Hot yeah. temper. Okay, yeah. got it, got it. Hi, I'm Joanne. Nice to meet you. I'm working as a global marketing manager for a beauty brand and my biggest ick in a guy is someone who is disrespectful to elders. Likewise, yeah. likewise. You gotta respect your elders. What do you guys think about my shoes? <laughs> oh. What do you think about these shoes? I love oh. it. And you, and hold on, hold on. You guys have matching shoes. Oh, oh. shoot! Um, hello, I'm Celine, and currently I'm a master PhD student in neuroscience. My wow. biggest egg would be when they are rude. 
like looking down to people. You're studying neuroscience. Neuroscience? Yes. In in Korea now? Yes. I don't even know what neuroscience is. <laughs> I don't know too. Trust me. <laughs> Hi, my name is Vanessa. Uh, occupation: I'm an office worker. Okay. I work in an IT industry. Biggest okay. ick in a man oh, wow. when they're very cocky or very judgmental. I would say. Okay. Yeah. For sure. Mm. For sure. Hi, my name is Seoul. I work in finance industry, and my biggest ick in a man will be. Throwing trash on the street. Ooh, yeah! Don't litter. <laughs> Protecting the environment—that's very important. Hi, I'm Rachel. I'm a freelance content creator and UX writer. My biggest ick in a man is probably insecurity or like fishing for compliments. Okay, like like I was like, how's my shoes earlier? <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe. I'm sorry. Ask away. So contestant number one, you see me at a bar. What pickup line would you use? If I saw you, I'd be like, Jay, are you drunk? Because I'm about to taxi blur. <laughs> oh, that's the name of my song. Pretty witty, pretty clever. Okay. I actually made one for you. Do you know this fly? It just slipped from your skin because it's so smooth. Okay, I failed. <laughs> no. wait, 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 wait. I don't know what All you're right. saying. I'm sorry. I'm okay. sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm really actually sorry. I'm not going to say any pickup line. I will just go, you know, and say, what's up? Hi, what's up? Yeah, uh, I, I want to dance with you, and Ooh. then I will, you will fall in love. Yo, are you a beaver? Kazam. Oh, that was nice. Okay. That was nice. Thanks. Number five. Your face is so pretty. Can I draw that? Oh, that would be that would be an honor for me. I'm really bad at remembering names, but can I call you mine instead? Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it. Number seven. Are you Chat GPT? Cause you have all the answers I need. Ooh, I've never used Chat GPT by the way. Uh, number eight. I think you got some on your face. Handsome. Oh, you got some on your face. Yeah, you got some ah, on your face. Oh, you can actually do that in Korean too. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> number nine. Do I know you? You look like my next boyfriend. <laughs> Number 10? Mm, I can't give you a pickup line. I don't want to pick you up. I'd rather pin you down. Oh! Boy, boy, boy! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, I'm so conflicted. So you're gonna you're gonna have to pick three candidates to let go. So it seems like we got one contestant. Yeah. Who may who may not be the right fit. I don't match. think I'm the perfect match for her. Who's gonna be the first to go? Okay, so uh, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, number four. There's gonna be a generational gap. Contestant number four, reveal yourself. That'd be funny if she's dressed exactly like you. <laughs> it's actually just me. Oh, what was your name again? Amelia. Amelia, thank you for playing the game. You look very young though. Like. Thank you. You are very young though. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for playing the game. I appreciate you. Aww. I appreciate you. You may go. Thank you for playing. How do you feel right now? Right? Even though the time we spent, we were just having conversation, getting to know each other, and mm -hmm. then now the moment is gone. <laughs> and with that, we're gonna have to eliminate another contestant. Oh, Who's it gonna be? You know, obviously, even though I do appreciate good art, that's not where somewhere I would wanna go on my first, like a perfect date, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I think number five. Contest number five, please reveal yourself. Oh, well, I thought you were Korean. Oh, what's your name again? Uh, Yumi. Yumi. Wait, hold on, hold on. So the Korean girl's name is Amelia, and the non-Korean girl's name is Yumi. What's, what kind of show is this? Thank you, Yumi. <laughs> Thank you, Yumi. And with that, you're gonna have to eliminate another contestant. The last person I'd like to eliminate is Brian. Get the <laughs> out of here, Brian. I'm not eliminating anybody else. To be honest, bro, I don't know what to base my choice on anymore. So I mm. think, you know, I would, I would like, like a second opinion since you are my wingman right now. Okay. Okay. So you know, I think you could base it on whatever. Let me, you let me warn yeah. you. Okay. I'm a very practical person, so I'm always looking for the most protection around my toes. Okay. And I see a lot of dangerous shoes here. <sighs> Contestant number seven. I'm very sorry, but um, please reveal yourself. Oh. What's I'm your so name? Sorry. Celine. Celine, Celine, yes. nice to meet you. Thank you for Sorry playing. You Thank you for Thank playing. You. Appreciate you coming. And with that, we're gonna move on to the second round. Okay, got it. So right. we're on to round two. We're gonna have to eliminate two contestants okay. after this round. Let's jump into it. Let's start from the opposite end. Oh, well, let's mixing switch. it up. So number seven, what is it, your red flag? My biggest red flag is that I have daddy issues. Daddy issues, okay. Thank you for your honesty, number seven. I'm kind of bad at replying to text quickly. Oh, okay. I found that guys don't really like it when I like scold them. I'll be like, oh. do this and do that and do that. Scolder. 
like a, a chansuri. Yeah. I change the topic a lot, but yeah. don't worry, you'll never get lost, and I'll keep the conversation going. Okay. Yes. Okay. My biggest red flag is this dress that I'm wearing right now. Oh, the walking red flag. When I was 15 years old, we were married in a virtual world. It was called The Sims. Oh, me and you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sims. When you're 15, how old are you now? 27. God dang, it makes me feel old. Behind this curtain, yeah. I can play confident, be anything, but I'm kind of weak when I'm around my ideal type. Oh, okay. And number one, what is your red flag? I ain't got one. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm a walking green flag. Ooh. Just hopped out of mine. What are your thoughts so far? These questions definitely help me gauge on the yeah. different characters that we have and their personalities. I think of it very simple. Like, will we be able to hold a conversation, right? I'm thinking of com compatibility. You gotta eliminate two contestants. Okay. And who's gonna be the first contestant you're gonna let go? I feel like the way we carry a conversation would be a little bit different. So okay. it might be a little bit more difficult than I would think. Yeah. So, and, and, and that person is... Contestant number four. Contestant number four, can you please reveal yourself? Hey. Oh, we do. Hi. What's your name again? Joanne. Thank you for participating. Of course. Thank you. No, thank Thanks, you. Joanne. Appreciate it. And with that, who is the second contestant you're going to be letting go? You know, although I like someone that knows herself, mm. right? Mm. I also like humbleness as well. The person that has to go is, is, is number one. Contestant number one, please reveal yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's your name again? Rini. Rini. Yeah. Very nice to meet you. Nice. Thank you for playing. Thank you for playing. Thanks, Rini. Is this the last round before you get to meet them face to face? So we're eliminating two. Yeah. Um, so, ooh, this is a very, very spicy question. Number one, if you called your ex, oh wow, what would he say about you? He'll say the most nicest thing about me. Nicest things. Yes. Okay. I told him I love you every single night Ooh. on the phone. I did my best to him. If he said something bad about me, I cried a lot. Cried a lot. Yeah. Oh. Contestant number two, if we called your ex, what would they say about you? First of all, the m will not pick up the phone. <laughs> he will not say a, a word. I think I maintain really good relationship with all my ex-boyfriends. Yeah. Uh, I never had a bad breakup. It was always mutual. I think he would say good things about me. I think he would say, you're the only woman I can think of who can be cute and sexy at the same time. Oh. <laughs> Do you mind proving that to us? Could you give him a call right now? I can call him, yeah. It's gonna be so awkward. Okay, it's gonna be on speaker. Hello. Oh, oh my god, Teddy. What's up? I'm on a show with Jay Park and they told me to call my ex. <laughs> and you're on a speaker. Can hi, I say Teddy. hi to Jay Park? Yeah. Hey Teddy, how you doing, bro? We asked the connect question to Vanessa, like if we had called your ex, what would they say about you, right? She said that you would say very, very nice things about her. So we asked her to prove it. So that's why we oh, called you. Yeah. I have only good things to say. Vanessa, mm -hmm. super smart, Aww. super fun, Aww. super chill. Okay, You're cool. making me emotional. <laughs> I want to date you, Terry. Damn. Okay. Teddy, thank you for being a good sport, bro. Absolutely. Take so, care. They're the perfect match. He has a girlfriend. He has a girlfriend? <laughs> oh. Teddy, all right. <laughs> I'm very happy for them. Oh, no, for sure. That's good. That's good. Okay, number four. My ex would say, you're the only person can be very playful. Sometimes can be very calm, but dorky at the same time. Good, very that's positive. good. Yeah, it's very, very positive yeah. for sure. I think you would say I'm too nice in both a good way and a bad way. Okay. I took care of him really well, but yeah. I also just let him do his own thing. So yeah. even if he wronged me in any way, I just didn't really say anything. I kind of held it in. Oh. And I think that kind of snowballs into like communication problems. Yeah. You were too friendly, but also kind of like being a pushover, which isn't healthy for like a relationship. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I feel like a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to meet face to face and yeah. actually have a, a regular conversation, right? Yeah. yeah. Before you can meet anyone face to face, you're yeah. gonna let two contestants go. Yeah. First person that I would have to let go is contestant number five. Contestant number five, can you please reveal yourself? 
Hey. Hi. <laughs> What's your name? Rachel. Rachel. Thank you for participating. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you. you. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right, Jay, you got to let go of one more person. Yeah. So the next person I'd have to say, uh, contestant number one. Contestant number one, reveal yourself. Hey. Oh, what's your name? Eugene. Eugene. Oh, thank you for participating. I, I want to stay you. here more. Stay in your face right now. Thanks, Eugene. Bye. Have a nice Alrighty. day. All right, Jay, we're on to the final round. You're going to be able to see them face to face. Yep. And we're going to set up a little day for you. With that, let's go to the final round. You're not a contestant, bro. Come on. <laughs> Jay, this is it. This is the final round. Yes, sir. So make sure you ask the right questions. Yeah, cool, man. Let's get it started. Good. Let's bring out the first contestant. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. Hi, Hi, how are you doing? nice to meet you. What's, What's your name again? Vanessa. Vanessa. Nice to meet you. Are you Korean? I am Korean. How do you speak English so well? So I graduated high school in the States. I went to university in Japan. Okay. But I took classes in English. So you were born in Korea though? I was born in Busan. Busan, okay. Yeah. Oh. So do you still like traveling? I love traveling. What, what do you like traveling the most? I really want to go to Turkey right now. I've been to a lot of like places in Europe. Yeah. I've never been to that area. Is there anything you want to ask me? So I wanted to ask, what are you looking for in a relationship? I think someone that just kind of gives me peace. Not a lot of drama, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Very thoughtful. I've gotten a lot of blessings and I've, I've achieved a lot and I'm very thankful for that. I feel like there, there needs to be a time where I need to take some time out for myself as well. What makes me happy? What's important to me? So you want someone very mature? For sure, for sure. That's yeah. very deep. Is I it? That answer, yeah. I, I don't know. It's, I it's, love it. I'm known for singing Mo and then I'm saying this. So I don't know. But this is my favorite song. Is it way. your favorite song? Yeah, I saw you at Water Bomb. Okay. And I saw you at Mo Everyone was screaming, and that's the first time. Actually, I'll be honest. I was very into like very tanned guys. Yeah. You're more of like. I'm more yeah. pale. Yeah. Ever since I saw you, my type changed. Really? <laughs> yeah. You have a glass skin. Oh no, <laughs> glass skin. Okay. Well, thank you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. You're Jay. back again. I'm back. I feel like you want to be a contestant, bro. I saw sparks flying. Did you? Yeah. You want to get your eyes yeah. checked, bro? <laughs> I Go to the it. eye doctor. All right, let's bring out contestant number two. Cool. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Mikaela. Yes. Nice to meet you. Thank you for choosing me. Oh, no, thank you for being here. I think you look better in person, honestly. I appreciate it. So, so you were born in Spain? Well, actually in Uruguay. And then when did you move to Spain? I moved to Spain when I was one year old. Okay, so basically it's like you lived in Spain, you're from Spain. Yes. Okay, when did you come to Korea? When I was 19 years old. You said you're 27? Seven, Korean age. Okay, yes. oh, so you've li been living here for eight, nine years? No, I, I left, I left. Actually, one of the things that impulsed me to came to Korea yeah. was that I saw your your music video Momme that inspired me to become a model in Korea and actually I was in one of your music videos. What? Yeah. Which uh, one? It was a sign here and ah. I've been called for the Wait, 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 but it wasn't my scene. It was yeah, no, someone else's it was scene. Your scene. No. You're just modeling here or do you go to school here? No, well? no, okay. I mostly do comedy videos about living in Korea as a foreigner. I like to just present myself as a comedy girl. I, I think I'm pretty funny. I'm gonna look up your stuff. What, what's your um, social media handle? Please don't. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> well, you're, you're, you're a content creator. Yes, but now that I know you, like yeah. ah, I will delay all the videos. <laughs> what do you like to do besides work? I'm a foodie. I love to try different food. You really cook? Yeah, I really oh, okay, cook. Honestly, okay. like I think I can surprise you. Okay, for Some sure. Some Spanish yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it was very really nice to yeah. see you. Yeah, yes. Mikaela. Yeah. Mikaela. Mikaela. <laughs> thank you so much. No, thank you for coming. Appreciate you. I'm back. Oh. How was it? I like how um, diverse the contestants are. It's it's interesting to hear people's stories, why they came to Korea, how they speak English. We got one more contestant. Who? I get the vibe that I think there's I think there is the one. Yeah, dude. This is where people are gonna come to get married now. Let's bring out contestant number three. Let's go. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your name again? Sorry. Soul. 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 Okay. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Finally, wow. nice meeting Wait, you. Wait, how is you? Is, you, is that is that like a Hispanic name? Soul means pine tree in Korean. Oh. Yes. So how do you speak English? I used to live in the States for about four years. Okay. And I also learned English when I was in high school in New York. Okay. Where did you live in the States? I lived in Utah, but I also went back and forth San Francisco to Utah. Okay. I know you're from Seattle. I'm from right? Seattle. What's good about Utah? There are a lot of beautiful nature and also well known for ski. Do you ski I, or snowboard? I do ski. Uh, what quality do you look for a woman? You know, has to be 
a good human being, right? I think that's very important. Someone that you try to build your life with, I guess, understanding. As someone that's gonna put in the effort, right? Life I live, it's, it's very abnormal, right? It's, it's unusual. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it's gonna take a lot of understanding and a lot of patience to deal with it. Right, right, to right, do right. It. So, well, how would you describe the good human being? I think someone that's uh, able to be compassionate and empathetic, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. To see somebody else's right, point right. of view. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day. <laughs> Jay, that's it. Do you think you know who, uh, who the one is? Assuming that I have to give this rose to just one contestant, right? There's only one rose. Yeah, cool. I think I got a pretty good idea, bro. We'll grab that rose. Yeah. It's time to make a decision. Got it. Jay, you've met 10 amazing ladies today. Yep. Now it's time to pick the perfect match. Who's it gonna be? So uh, I feel like it's not just up to the conversation that we had, but everything that led up to the conversation as well. The answers just topped it off was kind of the energy and the vibe I got from the conversation um, that we had face to face. And it was very different than what I expected. I made my choice. It was a very tough choice. I mean, everybody was wonderful. All 10 people was wonderful. All, you know, the three conversations that we had was, it was all good conversations, I felt like. So I, I, I've made my choice and my perfect match is... Makayla. Yeah, you. Hey, I'm so happy for you, man. Cool, man. cool, cool. I feel like this guy's my perfect match. <laughs> Thank you for participating, Vanessa, yeah, right? Yeah, Vanessa. Appreciate you coming. Thank, Thank you, you so, I appreciate you as well. Appreciate you, get home safe. Have a great day, guys. Mm -hmm. Cool, I, I mean, how do you feel? Thank you for choosing me. No, no. I feel so honored. We had our our face-to-face -face that you were going to be very kind of, you know, very a big personality, but you were kind of very like reserved and... What was the taste of the taste? Yes. Oh, you speak Korean? Yes, I speak It was a very unexpected, charming point that I saw. So I want to dance to my released, but it's a it's a song called Nick Nasty. Yeah, so, I love that. <laughs> okay, this will be my perfect match. Thank you. I'll just do it a cappella, let's go. Okay. Looking for a freak, Nick Nasty. Four chords, macho cross on the mop baggy. More than a house in the church that I'm pedgy. On the bottom at night, looking for a lady. Nasty, nasty, freak, Nick Nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty freak, Nick Nasty. Nasty, nasty, freak, Nick Nasty. On the bottom at night, looking for a lady. Yeah, I ain't looking for a lady. Wine, fam, and we about to have a baby. Hey, thank, you, thank you for being my perfect match. I appreciate so you. Congrats on finding the perfect one. Cool, man. Thank you, man. Thanks for coming appreciate out. You. Make sure to stream Make Nasty. Shout out to Dive. Shout out to you. Thank you for uh, helping me find my perfect match. Um, and everybody show a lot of love to Make Nasty. Out now. Let's get it. Thank you to everyone that came out today. And congrats to Jay for finding his perfect match. Make sure to go stream Make Nasty. And if you want to see more stars find their perfect match, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below. Make sure to subscribe and watch these videos. And subscribe. Now that's a hot ride freak. I look a full freak, make nasty. Full course, macho custom on the map.